Tips for Solving Equations Show your work. Get the variable by itself. Always check the solution. Example number one. One-fifth x is equal to 10. Step one. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. So if we look at this equation, we can see that x is the variable. And remember, a variable is a letter used to represent an unknown value. And in front of the variable, we have one-fifth. This is called a coefficient. And a coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So since we are multiplying that one-fifth by x, we want to do the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So what's the opposite of multiplying by one-fifth? Dividing by one-fifth. And we're going to do that to both sides. So now I'm going to show you a quick clip of how to divide fractions in case you need a refresher. All right, so after watching that video, we know that the two steps we have to do are change and flip when dividing fractions. So on both sides, we're going to change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and then we're going to flip the fraction one fifth to get the reciprocal. Now we can go ahead and focus in on the left side, where we have 5 over 1 times 1 over 5. We're going to pull that down and work that out and see what we get. So we start off by multiplying the numerators. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Next, we're going to multiply the denominators. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So notice now I have the fraction 5 over 5. And 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So when I multiply 5 over 1 times 1 over 5, I will get 1. And this will actually work any time you multiply reciprocals. You will always get 1. So now I'm left with 1x on the left side of the equal sign. And 1x is equal to just x. So the good news is, we are able to get the x by itself. If we focus in on the right side, we have 10 times 5 over 1. And 5 over 1 is equal to 5. So 10 times 5 is equal to 50. And we have our answer, x is equal to 50. But we have to make sure that is correct. So we'll move on to step number 3. Check to make sure the solution is correct. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite the original equation, which was 1 fifth x is equal to 10. Next, we're going to substitute in the 50, which was our answer, for the x in the equation. Now we are going to multiply the 1 fifth by the 50 because we want to know if that is equal to 10. So we can set that up as the fractions 1 fifth times 50 over 1. So notice any time you have a whole number, you can make it a fraction by giving it a denominator of 1. Now we can multiply. 1 times 50 is equal to 50. And 5 times 1 is equal to 5. And 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. Hey, would you look at that? 1 fifth times 50 is in fact equal to 10. And since both sides of the equal sign are equal to 10, we know that our solution is correct. So the answer will be x is equal to 50. Example number 2. Negative 3 fourths x is equal to 75. Step 1. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. So in this equation, our variable is going to be x. And notice that we have a number in front of that variable again, so that's going to be our coefficient, which lets us know that we are multiplying negative 3 fourths times x. So we want to do the opposite of that. What is the opposite of multiplying by negative 3 fourths? If you said dividing by 3 fourths, you are correct. And remember, we want to do that to both sides of the equal sign. And as we learned from the video, when we're dividing fractions, we have two steps. And those steps are to change and then flip. Now we can focus in on the left side. I have negative 4 thirds times negative 3 fourths. 
And I notice that I have two negative signs. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So I can get rid of those negative signs right away. And now notice that I have 4 thirds times 3 fourths. Which if you remember from the first example, any time I multiply reciprocals, I will always get 1. So instead of going through the work, I can cancel out the 4s, cancel out the 3s, which leaves me with just x. Now we can focus on the right side. I have 75 times negative 4 thirds. I can set 75 up as the fraction 75 over 1. So now I have 75 over 1 times negative 4 thirds. And now since I only have one negative sign, and I'm doing a positive times a negative, I know my solution will be negative. So I can ignore that negative sign when I multiply the numerators and denominators. 75 times 4 is equal to 300. And 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Now I have negative 300 over 3. And 300 divided by 3 is equal to 100. So x is equal to negative 100. But we have to make sure that that answer is correct. And we can do that by checking the solution. First thing we will do is write the original equation which was negative 3 fourths x is equal to 75. Next, we want to replace that x with the answer that we came up with, which in this one was negative 100. So I'll replace that x with negative 100. Next, I want to multiply negative 3 fourths times negative 100, and I want to see if that's equal to 75. Let's check it out. So first of all, notice how both my fractions have a negative sign. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so I can actually get rid of those negative signs right away. Now I can start by multiplying the numerators. 3 times 100 is equal to 300, and 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75. And would you look at that? Negative 3 fourths times negative 100 is in fact equal to 75. And since both sides are equal to 75, I know my answer is correct. So the final solution is x is equal to negative 100. Now there are two problems on the screen I would like you to try. The first one is 1 half x is equal to 20. The second one is negative 2 fifths x is equal to 40. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. Number one is x is equal to 40. And number two is x is equal to negative 100. I would recommend you go back and find your mistake if you had either of these incorrect. Thank you for watching.